These are the opening bars of the sonata. A very dark and obscure sound in the chords and real stenato figure with a lighter melody, fragment of a melody on top. And uh, this whole episode can be seen as a, a pre-exposition before the piece really starts. And after this, the first subject group follows, uh, which is still in the same uncertain uh, atmosphere. I like the introduction because it gives me the freedom to be flexible with the rhythm in different parts and go deeper to the music. For example, I can take time to the glissandi and also to the chord after that. Yeah, this is what we mean. The darker the atmosphere in the, in the chords and the light melody on top. Shall we continue then from bar 16? I think we can continue now, yeah, that's good. Yeah. first subject group, the second subject enters, and after that the whole exposition is rounded off by uh, repeated uh, scale finches which end in, uh, in, in an arpeggio, and a slightly faster, lighter uh, Giocolo-like episode. I want to play from bar 65 until bar 68 a tempo, and then from uh, 69 to 84 dogs and rubato to point out the lyricism of the phrases. Okay, that's good. From bar 65, you may take it a little bit forward, so sort of a general accelerando, and from bar uh, 69, the tempo is slightly uh, faster, so you play it faster, keep it light, but remind the phrases. to have the right feel for the music and I think yeah, the co collaboration is okay we have lots of things that we share so thank you yeah. very much yeah it's great also to work with you oh, and, thank you uh, and uh, I'm learning also a lot of uh, new things from uh, our collaboration and uh, I'm looking forward to make the premiere on 8th of April in the event house in Botswana yeah I think it's a, it'll be a great performance what I hear from what I hear, from how you play it, I think it's going to be a good performance. I'm very happy you are also happy. I'm happy, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> 